measurement of uh, rectal tendency in case of diet method, shortcut method, your step division method, and shortest methods. Okay. In today's class, we are going to solve uh, some uh, numericals in case of uh, some special type of questions, those who are appear in case of semester examinations. So here, the today topic is known as missing frequency problem. Just note down. Uh, in case of missing frequency problem, we have uh, x variables. We have the respective frequency are given. In this particular problem, mean is given and sum of frequency is given. So you have to find the missing frequency. I repeat, this kind of uh, problem will appear in case of semester examinations. That is known as missing frequency problem. In this type of miss missing frequency problem, x variable and their frequency is given. But in case of frequency, there are some frequency are missing from the frequency table. So you have to identify the missing frequency by using the following data. That means mean is given and sum of frequency is given. Is it clear? So it is my advice to all of you that first note down this uh, data given in case of missing frequency problem. Then after we proceed for the solving this particular example. If you don't, then must uh, uh, text a message on chat box. Then I proceed to next one. Okay, so shall I move to the next one? In case of missing frequency, yes. first you have to uh, make a table that is x, x are given, 2 for 3 and 4 for x. That means x is missing here, the value of frequency is missing here for the second row. The next is uh, for uh, 6, the uh, missing frequency is denoted as y. For the fourth one, that is 8 and frequency is 2. For last one, 10, and the uh, frequency is given 1. It is your duty first to calculate the summation of frequency. That means summation of f is equal to, if you add 3 plus 2 plus 1, that equals to 6, plus x plus y. Then after you proceed for calculating f into x, frequency into your x variable. That means 2 into 3, that equals to 6. Similarly, if you proceed for the next one, 4 into x, that equals to 4x. For the next one, that is 6 into y, 6y. For fourth row, 8 into 2, that equals to 16. And the last row, 1 into 10, that is 10. If you calculate the sum of frequency, sum of fx, that equals to 32 plus 4x plus 6y. Then, uh, then you proceed to next one here. In this particular problem, we have mean is given 5.2 and summation of frequency that equals to n, that, that is 10, is given. You have to identify the missing frequency. So as per the given uh, data, that is summation of frequency equals to n, that equals to 10 is already given. But here in this table, we already find summation of x is equal to 6 plus x plus y, that equals to 10. So from here, you have calculated x plus y, that equals to 10 minus 6, that is 4. And this is denoted as equation 1. The next part is that, in case of mean, that is already given 5.2. So as you know, in case of direct method or any uh, method used by the previous one, here I have used the direct method, that is x bar equals to summation of fx divided by summation of frequencies. So by, by simplifying or by adding the values of mean and summation of fx here is 32 plus 4x plus 6y divided by a summation of f is already given that is 10. If you simplify this one, to get the uh, equation that is 2x plus 3y that equals to 10. This is equation 1. So you get, we have already got the equation 1, x plus y equals to 4. The next one, is, uh, in case of second equation, that is 2x plus 3y equals to 10. So if you simplify this one, you can get the value of x and get the value of y. So it is my advice to all of you that try to simplify this one to get the value of x and y. I will call one by one, those who complete this one. Try to write it or make a fair note on the missing frequency problem. Pratikantakara, 
What is the yes, answer sir. for x? Sir, I'm calculating. I'm on it. Okay, row level per time. Yes, y is equal to two. Correct. In Sahaba's call, x is equal to two, y is equal to two. Correct. Okay, here just see. Right, row level per time again. Y is equal to fine. Pritam Pallai, are you there? Okay, Salini Patra, fine. Bhakti Prasad. Okay, fine. Raja Mali, good. Priti Ranjan Mishwar, Pooja Mali, good. Tanya Khatun, good. Rati Ganta Kaurav, fine. Priti Ranjan Sahu, then Priti Bhagyan Adha. Okay, Ravin Kumar. Okay, let's solve this one. I have already solved this one. If you simplify this one, we have the equation x plus y that equals to four equation one, two x plus three y that equals to ten that is equation two. If you simplify, in case of equation one, you just multiply with two. That means two x plus two y that equals to sixteen. So if you simplify this one, you can get the value of y. Y equals to two here, and similarly put the value of y equation one. That means x plus two that equals to four. If you calculate x, that is Is it clear to all? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So let me move to the next slide. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Moving to the next program. Sir, one more question. Yeah, tell me, sir. Okay, I repeat here. Suppose this is your questions here. Two frequencies missing. X and Y. I denoted as X and Y. Yes. The thing is that here data is given, mean is given 5.2, and sum of frequency that equals to number of observation that is given 10. The first step is that you have to make a table, x variable column, the next one is frequency columns, and the next is f into x column. So as per the given data, I mention x variables and their respective frequencies. First, you have to calculate sum of frequency that is 6 plus x y. If you if you add C plus two plus one plus x plus y. This is the sum of frequencies. Then after you proceed for calculate of f into x column. That means two into three six, four into x four x, six into y six y, eight into two sixteen, ten into one ten. Then after you proceed to next step. That means here summation of frequency given ten. In this case. We have got, already got the value of summation six x. That means six x sorry six plus x plus y equals to ten. So if you simplify this one, you get the equation one x plus y equals to four. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Then after the third step here, we have the mean is given five point two. But as per the formula of mean, that sub x bar equals to summation of f x divided by summation of f. So here mean is given 5.2. I write 5.2. Then summation of f(x) is equal to your 32 plus 4x plus 6y divided by summation of summation of frequency that is already given 10. If you simplify this one, you get the equation that is 2x plus 3y equals to 10. I have write the both equation under this uh, under the bottom of this particular slide. That is x plus y is equal to 4. That is equation one. The next one is 2x plus 3y that equals to 10. This is equation two. So if you simplify this one for simplification, I multiply two here in equation one. That means two x plus two y that equals to eight. I write here. Then subtract these equations. In this, if you subtract the equation, you get the value of y. That means two x two x that is cancel. And in case of three y minus y that equals to y equals to ten. That means ten minus eight equals to two. Get the value of y. And last step is that put the value of y in the equation one. That means x plus y is equal to four. Here y value is two. That means x plus two equals to four. So for two x plus two y equal to four, it will be one. One sir. Yeah. Yeah. Yes sir. And if you multiply this one, that is two x plus two y. That is two y. Ah. That equals to eight. 
right here. Two x plus two y. Okay, see here. All right. Okay, if you simplify this one, you can get the value of y. After that, after getting the value of y, put the value in equation one. That is x plus y is equal to four. Again, if you simplify this one, that is x plus two that equals to four. Again, x equal to four minus two that equals to two. The answer is y equals to two and x is equal to your two. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Shall I move to the next problem? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Here we have two frequencies missing from third row and the last row. From the following data related to marks secured by a batch of hundred number of students or hundred students, where the average is given thirty nine point five, calculate or determine the missing frequency. We have number of student is given that is hundred. That means n equals to your hundred, and mean is given that is thirty nine point five. I repeat, n equals to hundred number of student, and mean is given thirty nine point five. You have to calculate or find the missing frequency from two rows. That is, that is from third row and the from last row. Calculate this one. Yes, Pratyas Day. Are you there? Yes, sir. Are you solving? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Next is Pritam Yadav. Yes, sir. Try to solve as early as, as, early as possible. Priti Nepali, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. So what is the value of summation of f from the table? Forty-two plus yes, that is the same. Sir, forty-two plus x plus y. Okay, forty-two plus x plus y is the sum of frequency. Then calculate f into x. Calculate f into x. What is the value of x in this particular given data? Anyone? I repeat, this is a continuous series. So ten. 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 Ten, sir. Ten. Sir, I am not asking about the common vector. I am asking. Sir, sir uh, midpoint. Five. Sir, two forty-five. Two forty-five, sir. Forty-five. That is wrong answer. First, you have to calculate the mid values yes, because these data are on continuous series. There is no particular x. The particular range is given zero to ten. That means first you have to calculate the mid value. You are calculating the frequency. That is correct. That is forty-two plus x plus y. That is correct. But in case of x, x is given in a certain range. That is zero to ten, then ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, respectively. In this regard, you have to calculate the mid value. That is zero plus ten divided by two. That equals to five. Similarly, for ten plus twenty divided by two, fifteen. Two forty-five. Two forty-five for us, sir. Yes, sir. Calculate correctly. Total, sir, summation of x equal to two forty-five for us. Wrong, wrong. Two forty-five is wrong. Summation so, f equal to forty-two plus x plus y, na? No? That is correct. Here I have mentioned because this type of data belong to continuous series. In case of continuous series, we have to find the mid values. That is the value of x. Then after you proceed for f into x. I repeat, in case of continuous series, the data are in this case you have to find the mid value first. After calculating the sum of frequency. You proceed for calculating the mid value. From that mid value, you proceed for f into x. So here I calculate the mid value: zero plus ten divided by two, that equals to five. 
Next one, 10 plus 20 divided by 2, that is equals to 15. Similarly, for the third one, 20 plus 30 divided by 2, that is equals to 25. For the fourth one, that is 35. Similarly, for the next one, 45. For the next one, 55. The next one is 65. Then after you proceed for calculating f into x, that means frequency plus mid value that equals to 25. 5 into 5, that equals to 25. Next one, for the second column, 10 into 15, that is 150. Here the uh, frequency is missing, that's why I put the uh, x in case of missing frequency. That means x into 25, that is 25x. For the fourth row, 4 into 35, that is 140. For the next row, 20 into 45, that is equals to 900. For the next row, 3 into 55, that is 165. And the last row, that is frequency is missing, that's why I denoted as y. y. Y into 65, that is 65. If you calculate the sum of fx, you get 1380 plus 25x plus 65y. Is it clear to all? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Try to note down in case of continuous, I, I repeat, in case of continuous series of data given along with frequency, in this case, you have to find the mid value. And that mid value should be multiplied with frequency whenever you solve missing frequency problem. Then after you proceed for making equation 1 and equation 2, then after you proceed to solve the equation by using the given data, that is in case of your mean, in case of your number of observation. Priyanka Sahu, is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Raja Maling. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Rakesh Marvera. Yes, sir. Sir, जो फिर से थोड़ा repeat करेंगे continuous series में क्या होता है? Continuous series में in case of continuous series, after calculating the sum of frequency, you have to find out the mid value, and that mid value is considered as x. After getting the mid value, then proceed to calculate f into x. In case of shortcut method, in case of your short test method, in case of your state division method, in case of your short test method, we are using same pattern or same type of, uh, uh, you can say that is the table. In case of continuous series, just note down, in case of continuous series, you have to find the mid value and that mid value is multiplied with frequencies. Is it clear? Okay, fine. Okay, Pritishna Jana, you are correct. Sir, you have to solve it. Try to solve your own. I am here to solve here. Don't worry, but, but uh, you try it. Okay, Sahabaj Khan, your answer is correct. Dear Ranjan, better you try. I am here to solve. Don't worry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Real Chatoi. Okay, Pratasha, your answer is correct. Prithinanda Sahu, okay, fine. Answer is correct. Salin Patra, correct answer. Yanka Sahu, correct. Okay, Panda. Raja Malin, correct. Real Chatoi, okay, fine, correct. Dinapali, correct answer. Okay. So let's solve combinedly. First, as you know, in case of data given, we have the data given n. That is, number of student is given, that is n equals to 100. And average is given, that is mean. X bar equals to your 39.5. I repeat, number of students should be considered as the number of observation. And that denoted as n, n equals to 100. And average means mean, mean is given 39.5. As far as concern with the previous table, I just show the previous tables. The summation of frequency in case of continuous series, that is known as number of observations. Or summation of f is equal to n. In this case, we have the n is given 100. That means summation of f from the table, that is 42 plus x plus y, that equals to 100. So if you simplify this one, x plus 
y that equals to 100 minus 42 you are getting 58 this is known as equation one moving to uh, the next step here mean is given or average is given 39.5 so as far as concern with the formula that is x bar equals to summation of fx divided by summation of frequency so from the table we got we got the value in case of summation of fx is equal to 1380 that is 1380 plus 25x plus 6y so that's why i write here 1380 plus 25x plus 6y and here summation of f is already given 100 divided by 100 that equals to 39.5 if you simplify this one you get the equation 2 that is 5x plus 13y that equals to 514 this is equation number 2 so then after you proceed for simplifying the equation that is uh, the first equation is given x plus y is equal to 58 in this case i have multiplied 5 that means if you multiply 5 in equation 1 that is 5x plus 5y that equals to 50 into 5 that is 58 into 5 that is 290 this is equation 1 so if you subtract this equation 1 in this case uh, along with uh, equation 2 that is 5x 5x that is minus and 13 minus 5y that is 8y uh, is there and 5 14 minus 290s so in the, if you simplify this one you get the answer y is equal to 28 and after that one this is the last step in case of fast equation you put the value of x so put the value of y that is x plus y is equal to 58 i write x plus y value is 28 28 if you simplify this one, you got the value that is 58 minus 28 that equals to 30. Is it clear to all? Yes, sir. 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 Okay, fine. Moving to next uh, type of problem. Same type problem. This is for uh, your practice. Here, by the help of given matrix, mean is given here, and number of objections is 90 given. Find the missing frequency. So, which type of data is given to find the missing frequency in this particular problem? Anyone? Second. So yes, it is continuous series. So in this case, uh, uh, as compared to the previous one, this was also similar to the previous one. In this case, you have to find the mid value. After frequency uh, column, you have to make a column of mid value, then after you proceed for f into x. Try to solve this one. Sangeeta Sahu, what is your answer in the previous question? Yes, sir. What is the answer for previous problem? What is the answer of x and y? x equal to 30, y equal to 28. Okay, fine. Yes, sir. What is the answer so, for previous example? Also, oh, same, sir. Okay, fine. Try to solve this one. Rakesh Barana, are you solving? Yes, sir. I'm solving. Okay, fine. Shakti Prasad? Yes, sir. Solving, solving. Yes, sir.
So what is the value of summation of frequency here in this particular problem? Forty plus x plus y. Correct. Forty plus x plus y is the sum of frequency. But in case of question, the sum of observation is given. That is summation of f. That means in case of first equation, that is forty plus x plus y equals to ninety. So if you simplify this one, x plus y that equals to how much? Fifty minus fifty. That is fifty. 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 Then after you calculate the mid-value. Here I already solved this one. In case of sum of frequencies given, forty plus. Oh sorry, this one is uh, x into y. X plus y. The sum of frequencies. So the sum of frequencies given 40 plus x plus y that equals to 90. If you simplify this one, x plus y that equals to 50. This is equation one. Then moving to next one. In case of uh, mid value, we have already got from the x variable that is five for the first row, 15 for the second row, 25 for the third row, 35 for the next row, then 45, then again 55 for the last row that is 65. Then after you proceed for calculating f into x, that means Five into twenty, sorry, four into five, that is twenty. Again, sixteen into fifteen, that is two forty. The next is x into twenty-five, twenty-five. Ten into thirty-five, three fifty. Y into forty-five, that is forty-five y. Six into fifty-five, that is three thirty. And the for last one, four into sixty-five, that is two sixty. So if you add from starting from the first row to the last row, we are getting twelve hundred plus twenty-five y, so twenty-five x. Plus 45y. So here mean is given. X bar is equal to sum of f(x) divided by sum of frequencies. So sum of frequencies is given 90s, and the sum of f(x) is equal to 1200 plus 25x plus 45. That equals to 33.5. <coughs> Sorry. So if you simplify this one, you can get the equation two. Okay, Rajalil Patnaik, you are correct. Next, just wait for other. Huh? You are very fast. Rudradas, Rudradas, are you there? Ubran Supanda. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is your equation one? Yes, sir. Two seconds. Samit Padi, what is your equation one? Okay, Roshan, one correct. Priti Nanda, Priti Pragya Nanda, correct. Yes, sir. Ah, proceed. What is your equation number one? Roshan Singh, sir. Okay, Savaj Khan, fine. Priti Sna Jana, fine. रश्मि रेखा राउत रे करेक्ट ओके रविन कुमार फाइन शालिन पात्र व्हाट इज योर आंसर ओके राजा मानी फाइन सत्यम सर फाइन सलेश नायक गुड सत्यम सर देव फाइन शालिन पात्र आर यू देयर प्रियंका दास प्रियंका महानी रश्मि हेमराम स्वाति नायक करेक्ट शुभाग्मी करेक्ट द एंसर फॉर एक्स इज इक्वल टू आई राइट हियर एंसर फॉर एक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज ट्वेंटी एट पॉइंट इन केस ऑफ वाई दट इज ट्वेंटी एट पॉइंट टू फाइव दोज हु आर नॉट सॉल्व ट्राई टू सॉल्व एज अर्ली एज पॉसिबल फॉर द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ओके राजेश स्वाई प्रियरंजन साहू व्हाट इज योर आंसर
understanding? Equation two, sir. Equation two. Equation two. Because in case of equation two, suppose I write here. Here mean is given. That means x bar is equal to how much? What is the value of what is the formula for x bar? The okay, summation sum, of. Okay, it is difficult to write the notation. Sum of f x divided by sum of frequency. Sum of f. What is the value of sum of f x? Program. Yes, sir. That is already we have calculated, na? Twelve hundred. Some of the some of the cases, some of the cases is twelve hundred plus twenty five, twenty five x plus forty five y. Exactly. But in case of mean, mean value is already given. That means thirty three point five is already given. And sum of frequency, or sum of f x is given, is right here. And divide by sum of frequency is given. How much? Ninety. Ninety. Okay. If you simplify this one, that means ninety is directly multiplied with this number. Okay. So here I write thirty-three point five into your ninety. That equals to. Twelve hundred plus twenty-five x plus forty-five. Now it is easy to simplify this one. Try to simplify this one. What is the value of thirty-three? Thirty-three point five into ninety. Three zero one five. Three zero one five. That equals to how much? You can subtract minus two hundred. One eight one five. One zero. One eight one five. One eight one five. I just write here one eight one five. Eight one five. This twenty. Okay, guys. Twenty five x plus twenty five y. Okay. In this case, easy to what can directly take common five or common like this. Or you can directly simplify with the equation one. That is x plus y equals to fifty. Okay. Try to solve this one. Last equation is x plus y. Okay. This equation two. X plus y is equal to fifty. Equation two. Ninety plus forty fifty. No. Yes sir. No. Yes sir. Okay, if you simplify this one, just add twenty five in this row for for calculating. That means this one is multi this fifty is multiplied with twenty five. This one is twenty five x and this one is twenty five y. Twenty five x and twenty five x is minus. In this case, how much is uh, uh, what is the value of y here? Sangram, are you there? Yes, sir, I am there. Now it is understandable. Hi. Yes, yes, no? yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Any doubt from your side, anyone? Till now. No, sir. Okay. Shall I move to the next topic? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. The next topic is measurement of dispersion. In case of uh, the word dispersion, literally means fluctuation, scatter, or variation. In case of deviation or spread, 
so the measurement of discussion shows the variation of individual item from its average i repeat the measurement of discussion is directly indicate different fluctuation from the series whether it should be individual series or your discrete series or continuous series and this uh, variation of individual item it, it's it's directly calculate the average of individual item from the deviation that is known as measurement of discussion but the thing is that if you uh, go to the definition of measurement of, uh, of dispersion it is also known as measure of variation as it is explain the extent of scatterness that is the scatterness means your different type of deviation from that particular series in observation and it measures the mean deviation about some central value suppose you have a different range is given starting from 0 to 10 if i if i want to calculate the different deviation that means to directly add this particular uh, uh, in case of 0 to 10 it is 0 plus 10 and divided by 2 and uh, you can easily identify the media mean of deviation from that particular central value and that's why the measurement of discussion is very much applicable to identify the different deviation from a uh, from a mean mean deviation or to calculate from the central value in case of whether it should be individual series or discrete series or you can say this is continuous series then moving to next one the method of measurement of discussion we have two type of method is basically used one is absolute measurement of discussion one is relative measurement of discussion we will discuss one by one and do some numerical along with examples uh especially belong to absolute as well as uh, belong to relative measurement of discussions so if you go to the classification of different method under measurement of discussions here we have so if you divide this method of measurement into two parts one is absolute measure of discussion another is relative measure of discussion so in case of absolute measure of discussion we have four method first one is calculate uh, or calculation of range the second one is calculation of quartile deviation the third one is standard calculation of standard deviation and the fourth one is calculation of mean deviation on the other side we have relative measures uh, under that one that is coefficient of range or method of calculating coefficient of range is there the next one is method of uh, coefficient of variation is there then the third one is method of calculating coefficient of what else deviation is there and the last one is that is uh, method basically used to calculate the coefficient of mean deviation so we will proceed one by one first we have absolute measure under the absolute uh, measure of discussion we have range the today topic is discuss about range going to the next slide in case of range it is the simplest absolute measure of discussion which shows the difference between highest and lowest value in the series as i told the uh, previous example suppose we have 0 to 10 that means 0 belongs to the smallest value and 10 belongs to the highest value so if you use this particular uh, uh, mathematical equation that is range is equal to the highest or the largest value minus the smallest value as far as concern with the given example starting from 0 to 10 Can easily calculate that is 10 minus 0 that equals to 10. But the thing is that if you if you go for calculation of discrete as well as continuous series, there is numerous range is given. So by the help of this range or calculating the measure of dispersion by the help of range method, you can easily calculate the different range from the different different series of data, whether it should be discrete series or or whether it should be continuous series. So it is my advice to all of you to note down this notation. It is range equal to L minus S, where R stands for range, and L equals to the maximum value, that is the largest value, and S stands for the minimum or the smallest value. If you finish, then I proceed to the next one. Okay, fine. moving to next one the next one is coefficient of range it is your duty to only write down the formula clear 
I will provide the PPT after this particular session is over. But the thing is that during solving example as well as numericals, it is your duty. You must write the formula. The next part is coefficient of range. So this is the relative measure of variation, or it is known as coefficient of range. It is basically used to compare the two series. The formula for coefficient of range that is L minus S divided by L plus S. I repeat, the coefficient of range equals to L minus S divided by L plus S, where L stands for min maximum or largest value and S stands for minimum or smallest value. Just note down. Then we proceed for calculating. Different example belong to individual, discrete, and continuous series. Is it over? Yes, sir. Okay. Moving to next one. Suppose we have. The following example: Calculate the range and its coefficient of range from the following data. We have 54, 45, 16, 15, 75, 85, and 28. So, which one is the highest value from this given data? Sir, 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85.
In case of discrete series, you never go for calculating. Or in case of uh, uh, largest value or smallest value from the frequency tables, because your variables are already given. That is five, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty-five, forty-five. So from the x variable table, you already find the highest value is put eighty-five, and the lowest one is five. So what is the what is the exact answer for range? Eighty. Eighty. Eighty, sir. Eighty, sir. Eighty, sir. What is the value of coefficient? Sir, zero point eight nine. Zero point eight nine. Okay, Savas can find. Salini Patra, what is the value of coefficient of range? Sir, zero point eight nine. Salini Khatun. Moving to next type of problem that is belong to continuous series. So in case of continuous series, I just delete that one. So what is the maximum value here? Ninety five, sir. Ninety five. Sir, hundred. Sir, uh, sir, here. 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 Mean. Here. 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 Already, that value is given hundred. Ninety-five. There is no need for calculation of uh, range or apply any kind of uh, previous method. Here, the maximum value given hundred, and the lowest value is given five. 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 Is it clear to all? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Try to sir. understand now. In case of previous, forget about previous methods. In case of measurement of dispersion, especially belong to range. To directly refer to the x column, whatever value given, whether it should be five, whether it should be whether it should be seventy, so whether it should be eighteen, you have to choose the highest value. From the x variable table, we have the highest value is hundred, and lowest value is five. Is it clear to all? Yes. Try to solve this one. Zero point nine zero. Zero point nine zero. Correct. Okay, Salas so Naik. What is the answer? Samir Pari is correct. Sanjeev Biswal, what is your uh, answer? Swati Naik. Okay. So next is there is a assignment for you. Find the missing frequency sir, from the previous one. Yes, yes. So once again, sir, the previous one, uh, which one will consider the highest value and the lowest value? From this one, you have to consider hundred is the highest value, five is the lowest value. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir, okay. I have calculated the largest value from x variable table or x table that is hundred. Smaller value is five is given. If you calculate, that is hundred minus five, ninety-five. And coefficient is 95 divided by 105. That equals to 0.90. That is the answer. 
Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay. So there is a small assignment for you. Finding the missing frequency from the following distribution, where distribution of nine hundred workers are given, and the mean is given that is fifty nine point two five. Clear. So you have to identify the missing frequency from the wages and number of workers. Here I repeat, mean is given, and number of workers is given. That is n is already given. It is your duty to complete this assignment or add this assignment in your assignment copy. Any doubt from your side, anyone? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Just a minute.